and welcome to the 30th anniversary season of Raider News, the longest running student newscast in the nation. This is Raider News Update, and I'm Josh Whitman. And I'm Peter Yarem. Raider News is broadcasting on Verizon Files Channel 22 and Comcast Channel 34. We are also streaming 24-7 on our YouTube page. A link to Raider News is found on the front page of our district website, spfk12.org. Welcome to the Raider News Sports Podcast. I'm Josh Whitman. And I'm Peter Yarem. We've got a great show for you guys today. We're going to be talking about Saturday's soccer game against Westfield and make our weekly NFL picks. Also, we'll have Ryan Peterson and Tori Baliatico in the booth talking about Raider soccer. We'll recap the games from this weekend and preview the upcoming games. Our top story today, the Westfield soccer game from Saturday. What and a Pete, wild one. Pete, you what and I were there. One. You and I were there. It was Honestly, crazy. Honestly, I'm a junior now. I've been through two soccer seasons. That's the best game I've ever been to. Well, this is the first one I've gotten to go to at Westfield High School. Last year, I had to miss it, unfortunately, but one of the wildest games I've ever been to. I've been, I've been to two county finals for boys. I've been to two county finals for the girls. None of them have been as rowdy as that game. That game was awesome. Can't compare. Double, double overtime. Double overtime, Joe Bianco. About Joe one, Bianco about, with the game winner. About three, three minutes into the second overtime period. Just insane. Just off of like a little loop. Wasn't even like a beautiful kick, just a little I mean, loop and a I mean, we header. were going crazy. I was, I was painted blue. He was painted blue. I Everyone had, else was painted blue. I had I don't black on. I, had, I was in all black. It was just, oh. What a game. It was wild. It was, honestly, the cheers actually were like, Legit. And especially because it's against Westfield. I mean, anytime you beat your rival, it just makes especially it that much Especially on better. their home turf. Yes. It, was just, it, was awesome. it was great. They just left. We were there. We were chanting after the game, and they were just gone. We're going to remember this one for a long time. Yeah. So, story number two, we got our weekly five NFL football games. So what we're going to do, each week that we're on here, we're going to pick five football games, and we're going to keep score who wins. So we're going to see at the end of the year, or the end of the football season, how many uh, wins we each have, how many picks we got right. So, first game we got. Uh, we got uh, Pats against the Chiefs. So, honestly, I, I got the Pats. They haven't been what they used what they used to be. Tom Brady's a little bit off his game, but he's Tom Brady. He's going to get the job done. I, uh, I, I got to go with the Patriots as well. I mean, whenever you're talking Brady and Gronkowski, there's just no, nothing Brady's better than that combo. Brady's the man. All right, uh, game two, we got Packers at the Bears. All right, NFC North matchup. That's a tough one. The Packers coming off a lousy, lousy performance in Detroit. The Bears coming off a pretty good performance last night on Monday Night Football. Am I right? Very good win, very good win. Yes, I'm a so, Jets fan, so it's tough. Mm, mm. But I got I to gotta take the Packers. Aaron Rodgers got to get it done. Hmm. Since the Bears are at home, I think I've got to take the Bears after that solid performance. Although it's going to be kind of tough with Brandon Marshall to see whether he comes back or not. But I think I've got to take the Bears. They look stronger here. All right. Game number three, we got the Philadelphia Eagles against the Niners. Pete? Ooh. See, that? that's a big game. Personally, the Eagles, they're 3-0. You know, they've been on a tear this entire season. But the Niners are at home. The Niners are very tough at home. I think I got the Niners in this one. How the about Eagles, you? The Eagles have been coming from behind all three games, right? Or two at least. They're a second-half team so far. The Niners coming off a disappointing loss to the division rival Cardinals. I don't think they lose two in a row. It's at home. They're not losing two in a row. Niners. Exactly. All right, game four, we got Saints at the Cowboys. Well, Saints coming off that win. They're one and two now. Cowboys defense looks like it'll give up anything even to our yeah. football team and it's Tony Romo and it's Tony Romo <laughs> I expect Drew Brees to have a big day and especially I hope so because he's on my fantasy team and I need a big win next week I agree with you on this one so I'm gonna have I need to go a, I need Drew Brees to go off so I got the Saints I got the Saints as well I think they're gonna absolutely pummel the Cowboys final game we got Panthers at the Ravens Ooh. Ravens Ravens had had a lot of off-season storylines here, but they've seemed to be playing well uh, through it. And the Panthers, I mean, the Panthers are such an off-and-on team. You never really get a grip. And the, it's Ravens at home. I think I got the Ravens. Carolina, in Carolina's not the same team away from Carolina. The Ravens coming off that big divisional win against Cleveland. Coming out yeah. of the first three weeks they played, the whole division, they come out 2-1. and That's big. That's big momentum. I got the Ravens at home. All right. That does it for our NFL picks. Yes, yeah, so we got sophomore Ryan Peterson representing the boys varsity soccer team. How are you doing, Ryan? I'm good. I'm good. good. How are you? So, uh, good. How are you? The uh, boys soccer team went to Costa Rica over the summer, 
And uh, can you tell us what that experience was like for you? It was a very good experience. Uh, a lot of bonding in the team, which was good to uh, start off the season in the right way. Um, it was fun to play in a few big stadiums down there against some big teams. So just an overall good experience to uh, start off the year the right way. Cool. Sounds awesome. Thank you. And uh, all right, so Saturday, big game against Westfield. Big win, one nothing. Joe Bianco in overtime. How did it feel to play in that game for your first uh, Scotch Plains Westfield varsity game? It was uh, very nerve wracking. Um, it was uh, very loud during the game. Mm -hmm. We were just glad that we could get the win and uh, glad that Joe could help us out on that play. But overall, it was just a good effort from the entire team and good win to start off. Uh, my opening game against Westfield was good to get the win. A lot of fun. So, um, do you have any specific individual or team goals for the season? Uh, I'm just hoping to help the team the best that I can. And uh, the team wants to just get as far as we can in the state tournament and hopefully bring some trophies to SPF. Good to Sounds hear. Good. And uh, I assume you want to play in college, right? Uh, yeah, that would be a Any a uh, goal. specific schools that you uh, could see yourself playing in or your dream schools to play at? Uh, a few Ivy League schools would be cool to play at. I think, you know, just the education aspect of it is a big part of the decision-making process. And uh, there's overall a few schools that I'm just looking at. No no real specifics right now, just, just getting along right now. That's good. That's Ryan good. Peterson, boys varsity soccer team. Thank you. Please sign right. the wall. Sign the wall before you leave. Same. Anywhere you want. Anywhere, anything, anything you want. Anything you want. Thank you. Thanks for being on the show. <laughs> Alright, so moving on now, we're going to talk about some upcoming Raider varsity games. We got a lot of away games this week. We got tomorrow volleyball at JFK High School in Island, I believe that's where it's located. Uh, tomorrow we also have gymnastics at Westfield. That'll so be a big hopefully match. Hopefully they can pull out that match. win. Any time against three, Westfield. Three out of four against Westfield is big. That'll be a great start to the season. We got Friday night under the lights football at Ridge. It's Ooh, a big match. Ridge big is matchup. a tough team. Trying is a very tough, tough team. team. They were trying to come off that loss to uh, Westfield. Mm -hmm. Our football team they look a lot stronger than the, uh, last year. Yes. Yeah. They look a lot stronger. Running Starting the ball, the season running the, the ball with Kobe and Amendo, it's pretty good. Very it strong. Look, it looks very strong. Very strong offense. We got Saturday, we got an away boys varsity soccer game at Bridgewater. That'll be a good game to watch. Bridgewater, would, I believe, beat us last year at home. That was a tough loss. They beat us in overtime, I think. I, so, I, I I'm, an avid, I'm an avid Raider soccer supporter, but on a Saturday morning, I'm not slipping up to Bridgewater to watch the team. <laughs> No, I mean, I love my Raiders boys, but, I mean, not all the way to Bridgewater. I'll be there. Monday, Monday, we got boys varsity soccer at home against Old Bridge. Ooh, that should be an easy win for us. That, I'm not, I don't know. Old Bridge, out of county, you never know with those out of county matchups. We got girls tennis looking to continue the strong season. Very strong. Versus uh, GL. Already more wins than they had last year. They're very impressive. It's, it's a comeback year. It's great. <laughs> and then our final... Uh, preview is uh, Tuesday. We got girls soccer against Linden. They hope to uh, continue their undefeated season. Linden is more traditionally is more of a basketball school. Yeah, not so sure about yes. their soccer abilities. And our girls just look like no one could get in their way. I mean, they've allowed one goal this year. That's crazy. I don't see That's crazy. many other people scoring That's crazy. against them. That's crazy. All right, so we got Tori Baliatico here from the girls varsity soccer team. How are you, Tori? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. All right, so Saturday versus Westfield, you two had a big win, one nothing. You had the assist to Kayla. How yeah. did that feel? How did that feel? Um, well, it just feels good to like always beat Westfield because they're our rivals. So it was it's very like <laughs> it was a great game. And how did it feel to impact the game, especially with your big assist? Um, well, it it felt great to like be part of like the reason we won. So it's just like gave us so much momentum to keep playing the game and not letting them score against us. All right. Uh, first, congrats on committing to Elon. Thank you. And uh, along with them, were there any other schools that were interested in you? Uh, yeah, I had a couple um, schools like Manhattan College, UMBC, uh, I, don't even, I don't even remember what other schools. There's a few. I like uh, Fairfield. I visited a couple of other schools. Uh, what are your expectations for your final home game? Uh, 
um, just to win. We want to go like undefeated. Well, undefeated this whole season. We were trying to go zero oh oh and oh zero goals against, no losses and no ties. But unfortunately, we have one goal scored against oh, us. Well, well, well. <laughs> You're still undefeated. I mean, can't get better That's than great, that. Yeah. And uh, how do you uh, going along with that? How do you think your season has gone so far? And also, what do you think your team could approve, uh, improve on to win another county championship and possibly state championship this year? Um, so far, we've been really good with um, playing together and keeping composed, except for like maybe the beginning of the Westfield game. We all just kind of just kind of went out there, but um, we're doing good with playing together. But there's a few things we can work on by like playing the ball up to like people and like looking to pass quicker. But other than that, we've dominated most of the games. And honestly, I think that we have the biggest chance of winning counties and winning states because last year we did like choke a little in like the sectionals but we could have easily like blew through every team out there mm -hmm. and you guys look very strong this year yes, so good luck strong. to you all thank you right. sign the wall before you leave the highest profile gets so far <laughs> thanks, thanks Tor oh. later later alright so last thing we got we're going to talk about Raiders Sports Review. So we already went over the uh, varsity soccer game, the boys, a little bit. But now we're going to talk about the girls, and we're going to talk about the football game. So the girls' soccer game, I wasn't able to attend due to a diagnostic test. <laughs> but I heard it was a thrilling game. Tori Baliatico. Baliatico, right? Yep, Tori had uh, the assist to Kayla. I was there for the entire game. It was a very good game. Uh... Pretty physical, uh, but our girls were in control most of the game. We had a lot of shots. We should have uh, won, actually, more than one nothing. But, I mean, I think some nerves got to us hey, a I'll little take, bit. I'll take but. the win over Westfield, any way you can get it. And then football, not as lucky to come out with the victory. Yeah. Markel Taylor throwing two interceptions. Kobe, though, Kobe ran the ball well. Kobe, Kobe ran, ran the ball, ball very well. A also, a costly fumble on a third and seven running play. A costly fumble yeah. return for a touchdown that made it 19 to six. Really put the game out of reach. Yeah, I mean it was a tough loss, 26 to six. But hey, we're one and one on the season, and we have Get as long as we play Ridge. a good game against Ridge. I mean, it only looks better from here. All right, thanks for watching. This has been your Raider News Sports Podcast. Uh, check out uh, uh, our other videos on our YouTube page. This has been your Raider Sports Podcast with me, Peter Yaram. And Josh Whitman.